Lord Jesus, please give us the faith to be unwavering even in the face of danger. Amen. Today we were prompted to talk about some other things coming to this world. I have to admit, they are threatening. So right away the Lord addressed them in the message. The songs that he played, or that the Holy Spirit prayed, because we put it on shuffle and we pray and ask Holy Spirit to choose the songs, were real faith builders and intimacy builders. And they turned our hearts back to faith in his ability to care for us. Jesus began, Truly, you are finally getting it. I've got this. You'll walk through the fire without being scorched. Yes, just like the three in the fiery furnace who refused the Babylonian gods. As you were faithful to me and as you cleave to me, as you lean only on my understanding, as you are obedient and refuse to go into agreement with the demon's programming lies, you will be safe and secure. I will send you many just like you, and together you will stand in the face of adversity, completely defying the laws of the universe. You will flourish in the gifts ministering to one another, those who I have sent to be a part of this end times prayer army. Over and over again, you will defy the odds of being captured, not by yourself, but by my anointing. Remember Patrick, St. Patrick and the deer? The enemy was lying in wait for him, and I told Patrick what to do. So he planted his staff, and everyone else stood and put their hands on the staff. And the enemy was totally confounded, because when the enemy was ready to jump on them, it was just some deer. They were just a small herd of deer that went trotting off into the woods. <laughs> Claire, I can even defy AI. There is no power like mine. Many will be the victories of my power. And when it seems like you have reached the end of your ability to endure, then I will send you fresh graces. I will be with you at all times. I only ask you to be alert. Pay attention to signs and my whispers to your heart. It will be a time on earth as has never been before, and along with that will be the graces to handle everything the enemy sends you. You will be astounded with the things I will do, things you never considered possible. You will begin to understand heaven and how the earth operates in such a way that praying for a mountain to move will not seem outrageous anymore. Yes, my dove, you have discerned rightly. Things are coming now. They have been waiting for the right time. And this is the right time. You were coming out of the rapids, which you were in, with the vision about the boat. And what is the ingredient that has been missing? Faith, to allow me to do as I please with you, no matter how outrageous it was to you before. Desperate times call for desperate graces. I will lead you along this path slowly until you are completely accustomed to my ways and the glory of my power. I tell you these things now because it will take time for them to sink in. This is merely an introduction into what I will do to protect my people. And if they lead you to the guillotine, rejoice, for in only seconds you will be ecstatically rejoicing with me in my arms, rejoicing with me. As you are teaching all to have faith, and what did he say to the thief? Today you will be with me in paradise. So hang on to that. If the situation ever happens, hang on to that. Today you will be with me in paradise. Wow. As you are teaching all to have faith, 
that what they see is my gift to them because I long to be seen and heard and accepted, even like all of you long for the same. You will understand my nature and receive my gifts and thank me. I have so much love to give. All that stands in my way is the wall of unbelief you have constructed to protect your sanity for fear of being deluded. This is the weapon of choice to shut up my prophets. Please outgrow this damaging wall. Tear it down and let me come in. I continue to knock on your heart. Please remove the wall and use this scripture to do it. John 14, beginning at uh, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me because I live. You also will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in the Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. I'm missing something here in that scripture because it also says, the version I think, I will come and make my abode within them. He continued, Have I not taught you to believe in my word? You cannot sidestep this scripture, so please do not continue in your unbelief. Come to prayer knowing I am faithful and will fulfill this promise to you. Only renounce unbelief and fear of man and all the lies of Satan. His job is to keep you deaf and blind so you can be led into error. In these times, you can no longer afford to be deaf and blind. There is too much error in the world that is so dangerous to your souls. Come now, my beloved ones, cast out your doubts. I live in you, and you shall see and hear me. Come, take my hand, and allow me to establish this relationship with you. Amen.